yes, I believe that uh, more than other firms, they try to acquire knowledge, uh, develop their technology through cooperation with their partners. And I think that uh, this is a general rule in alliances, but it is even more true in the case of Chinese multinationals. Partners of Chinese companies should be aware that sooner or later their partners will become among their toughest competitors. Of course, I think uh, Chinese car companies will use their extremely large domestic market to develop their scale, they will use their alliances to acquire technology, and uh, very soon they will become among the toughest competitors in all major global markets. I think it's already happening. We see Chinese car makers starting to export. They are starting with emerging markets, but very soon they will come into uh, developed markets as well, and they will challenge the positions of companies like GM, like Volkswagen, or like all the other major producers in the Western world. Um, I think it's a very typical situation in most joint ventures, which is that uh, at the beginning the stakes are not very clear for either partner, but as the Chinese market becomes larger, it becomes a more critical issue for Danone on the one hand, but also because they realize that they control that market, the local partner, Wahaha in this case, thinks that they are not getting a fair share of uh, the profits or of the benefits of the deal. And so little by little, uh, there is more and more tension. We could add that in this particular case, Danone also had agreements or with other companies. And because of this, Wahaha uh, perceived it as a threat to the position of their joint venture. Danone could choose to emphasize one or the other of their activities. And uh, I think it is fairly predictable that uh, it was fairly predictable that the joint venture would lead to some tension. Now, of course, it didn't necessarily have to end in, in uh, a fallout in the way it did, but at least there was some danger associated with the very success of the joint venture. It, it, this is a general rule. If joint ventures are unsuccessful, there is very little to fight about. If there are greater stakes, then the tension becomes greater. Well, I think one of their greatest strengths is their low-cost position in the first place, which they can take advantage of to enter new markets. Um, also, they bring, a, I guess, a very different perspective to those markets where they enter. They have different habits, different cultures, different ways of operating. Um, so I think uh, they clearly are very large challengers. Now, they might not recognize it. I also think that, for the time being at least, many Chinese multinationals are acting as though they were part, they were the, the economic arm of the Chinese government. And so I think they do benefit from a lot of help, a lot of support from the central government.